Because at this point, the realm's delight was a way better option than the other children in his eyes. King Viserys the first Targaryen's eldest son, Prince Aegon Targaryen was already a drunken, lazy, and arrogant boy under the influence of his ambitious mother and grandfather. He received little to no training in being a proper ruler and would only be a puppet for House Hightower in the end. The same will also be said for his younger brother, Prince Aemon Targaryen. He'd take his duties more seriously than Aegon would but he'd also be quite scary and intimidating as a king. The only two children of the Greens who might end up being decent rulers are Prince Daeron Targaryen and Princess Helena Targaryen since they are kind children with honorable and benevolent qualities. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. King Viserys just couldn't. First, Viserys is not an idiot and he is rather observant and is probably aware that Aegon is not up to take the throne. Amond maybe, but that would create the same problem or maybe a worse one. Rhaenyra is not a little girl anymore. She is a woman, has been a ruler of her own lordship for years and has a dragon, while Viserys has none of his own, if Daddy Dearest were to take the throne away from her, all the love will be replaced with dragon fire. Add Daemon to that equation a capable military commander with loads of friends and an even bigger dragon, the situation becomes fun. While Aegon has the advantage of being a man, it is not as powerful as many think, one of the seven kingdoms is ruled by a woman, the Vale of Arryn. 1. The Reach, where he expects to get most of his support, is also ruled by a woman, in name of her son, but still a woman. The Lannisters are on his side since they hate Targaryens and Boros was the wild card. The Starks were on Rhaenyra's side, they said they were and not even the winter will stop them from siding with Rhaenyra. Tully are the other wild card, but since they are surrounded by several people, they need to play it safe. Could Viserys make it all go away if he told the lords that swore to Rhaenyra to swear to Aegon? Maybe, but again, how would Rhaenyra react to that? And Daemon? Or the lords themselves once they learn of Aegon's attitude which was so bad that it made one of the king's guard defect out of disgust. So replacing Renera, who has powerful allies of her own, is not as clear-cut as it seems. The true mistake Viserys made was remarrying. The show tries to present it as an unavoidable thing that he cannot escape, that is not true. Many rulers in our world history remained unmarried after their partner died and also several in Westerosi history and at least two Targaryen kings, Baylor I and Ares I were so celibate that they could as well be unmarried. Viserys married Alicent out of weakness a desire for her and her company. Another reason why Viserys kept Rhaenyra as his heir was mostly because of ego and because it was too late to train Aegon. Viserys the first Targaryen was outwardly a people-pleaser and internally a criticism-phobic. He wasn't a bad king, just a mediocre one. We see this in the show when Jason Lannister approaches him and assumes Rhaenyra will be demoted now that Aegon is born. Viserys responds showing his displeasure with having his choice of heir criticized. It's his heir. His choice. Viserys understands this. He certainly inspires fear with Lannister, but little else. He names his daughter the realm's delight but in truth, Rhaenyra only ever delighted Viserys and the individuals whose approval she sought. She is all that is left of his beloved wife Emma Arryn. He wants to see that memory live on and thrive. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.